Cynthia Untamed. This is your useful and educational platform where we have conversations with and about children and youth in Africa. My name is Cynthia Nyongesa. Make sure you check out my digital platform, CynthiaUntamed.com, where I highlight the stories of mobilizers, change makers, advocates, and influencers right here in Africa. As you can see by the look of my t shirt today, it's written UN volunteers, UNV, UN volunteers here, here. Yes, that is the topic that we will be discussing today, and it's how to become a United Nations volunteer. First off, who is a UN volunteer? A UN volunteer is someone who works at the United Nations and gives specialized skills for particular topics, particular programs, for a particular period of time, and this is called an assignment. Your assignment could be as short as three months and as long as a whole year, or two years depending on whatever contracts that you get there are different types of un volunteers a national un volunteer who works in their country of citizenship and an international un volunteer who does not work in their country of citizenship when you also look at the two categories you'll find that there are youth un volunteers and regular UN volunteers a youth UN volunteer ideally starts working as a volunteer when they do not have any prior work experience a regular UN volunteer then goes to work when they already have extended work experience probably more than even two years of work experience we also have youth university volunteers i forgot to mention that and basically they are un volunteers who are basically still at the university i know mount kenya university has a partnership with un volunteers where young people can work for six months and get some work experience and i think this is really important so if you study at mount kenya university probably you should explore this and if you are studying in another kenyan university probably you should add your university to partner with you and volunteers so that you get some bit of work experience. There are many benefits of becoming a UN volunteer, most especially if you are a young person. One, you get to network with people in your profession. That is the first thing. Second thing, you get work experience. Of course, it really exposes you to the reality of the things that you've studied in school. Because remember, after you have your degree, the next thing is to get real life work experience. The other benefit is the benefit of traveling and traveling then opens your mind, enables you to survive in very new countries. Sometimes you'll be in a country where people don't speak your language. So you have to learn, you have to learn to adapt, you have to learn with people of other nationalities you even become culturally intelligent and emotionally intelligent as you work the other thing of course you get to benefit is you get a stipend every month and that enables you to cater for your living exp expenses because nobody wants to be poor of course so when you start working then you get some little bit of money you're able to go back to school you're able to take care of your family take care of your health and basically do whatever you want to do with your money so then how do you become a UN volunteer? First things first, especially if you are a young person watching this, be humble and volunteer for small organizations. There are many young people who approach me and tell me, how do I become a UN volunteer? But every time I urge them to volunteer for a local organization outside their estate or outside their home, many of them don't want to do that so then how do you get into that space when you're not humble enough to be faithful in the small things from my personal experience i started volunteering for my friends organization it wasn't even the local organizations it was my friends visiting kenyatta hospital that i would tag along with them take some food for kill for children at kenyatta national hospital or if they were donating books somewhere i'd help them to fundraise if someone was looking for donations i'd give a little bit of what i had it's really the small things that determine your character and determine whether you are fit to be a un volunteer because you're not getting into this space for yourself you're getting into this space for the community for your nation you're here to serve your people not to serve yourself so start volunteering for smaller organizations and then you'll build a profile of a person who engages in the community over a period of time. Look out for UN volunteering opportunities that are online. It's possible. You can just Google the UN website. You, 
and the website and you'll see that sometimes they have short assignments sometimes maybe they want you to help them do a survey sometimes they want you to help them do a few social media posts just check the different assignments that you have you will not be paid for this but let me tell you you will have put yourself in the system because it's important for you to be inside a system where people know that you are willing to do something before they give you money for doing it so check out any assignments that you may get on the online space start your own organization where you serve your community if you're not volunteering for a small organization then start your own make sure you build your character build your experience over time and if you don't have money to start your own organization don't feel pressured become the leader of a local club in your school be the leader of kenya model united nations be the conference director join isec do things you don't have to start your own organization because I can tell you for sure I don't have my own organization. I run my digital platform because this is what I can afford to do. I don't have money to run a whole organization, but I know that there is something I can give to my community. So don't pressure yourself. Just do what you can and you build experiences and networks over time. Network, network, network. Make sure you network is valuable and it's rich and your network could be so diverse it could be from young people just like you who are very exposed who know where the next opportunity always comes from have friends like those network with leaders of organizations talk to people make sure people know who you are make sure people know you exist if you have not watched my video on networking hacks for young people make sure you do that i will leave it in the link in the description bar below or in the comment section or in a card above here so just check anywhere there and you'll be able to see a video like that and you learn how to network that is so 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 important because when an opportunity opens up you will be the first to know because they'll tell you to apply for it the last thing you need to do of course is apply you're not going to be a un volunteer if you do not apply so make sure you send you put a notification from the unv website so that whenever a job opportunity opens up check it very very op often so that you don't miss any opportunity that opens up let me show you how to apply through the unv website v jobs just search that search that there so you can see you can already see a few jobs there from the un so you go to the unv website so just click on any of them so you can search this you can click on that one so you can see that it says you can filter your opportunities either by country or specialization or whatever so this is the unv website then as you can see there are options there that you can read about becoming a un volunteer how to engage a un volunteer what is volunteerism all about unv there are many reports there missions and the regions that exist so i am in the east and southern africa region of africa so then you say uh what is the next thing you you uh sorry for that yeah so you become a un volunteer so just click on that see can you see you can volunteer abroad you can volunteer in your country you can volunteer online you can find a volunteer opportunity and then there is more information there so it's as simple as that if you even want to check the frequently asked questions you can see all that there so let's say for example i wanted to volunteer abroad for example so i'll just click there volunteer abroad then you can see find your volunteer opportunity you can see it there or you can register so what you need to know is that if you are applying for a unv opportunity for the first time you first need to register into the system so just go there and click on register now you can see that it leads you to a page known as vmam this is the volunteer management platform for the unv organization and unv is managed by united nations development program so you can see there then you just register of course put your name your gender your date of birth all that information and then you click on sign up so once you click on sign up you are now in the unv website so then 
you will just search for UNV opportunities just like they are there. You see there are many opportunities there. So you just click on either of them. So let's just click on this West and Central Africa Associate Political Affairs Officer. That is just an example. I'm not applying for that. And you can see that it gives you details of all the of that job description, where you'll be based, your duty station, the language that they require, what is the description of the task that they want you to do, all that is there and the qualifications that they need, your language, your areas of expertise, all that will be there. Then you just click on apply. See, there you go. So it's as simple as that. So you can see that it's led you back to this page over here. Once you've registered, you'll be able to log into this page. I'm not going to log in because I don't want people to see my details, but there you go. So you'll be able to put in your email address and your password. You get into the system and you fill the application form and you wait for people to call you for an interview. It really is as simple as that. And the good thing about uh, applying is that even if you, you don't get an opportunity immediately, sometimes they just use this system to get people. So sometimes they'll, they'll have a job description somewhere and then they'll just check from the system who is most qualified and then they'll just pick someone and you will be assigned after an interview of course so it's important for you to check this website as you can see it's very simple to navigate you can navigate it on your phone your laptop or your ipad it's as simple as that that is how you apply to be a un volunteer do you have any more questions on how to be a un volunteer feel free to ask me in the comment section below or send me a DM on Twitter at Cynthia underscore opera on Instagram at Cynthia opera underscore Nyongesa. I will respond very, very quickly. I respond very, very fast. So don't be afraid to ask any questions that you may have. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend about this youthful and educational platform. Don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next episode